The state of Nagaland lies in the extreme northeastern part of India. It is bordered on its west and north by Assam, on its east by Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, on its north by Arunachal Pradesh, which borders China, and on its south by Manipur. The Naga Hills run through this small state, which has Mount Saramati at its highest peak. The terrain is mountainous, thickly wooded, and cut by deep river valleys. There is a wide variety of plant and animal life. There are 16 tribes in Nagaland, with each tribe having their own culture and heritage. Tribe and clan traditions and loyalties play an important part in the life of Nagas. Very little is known about the early history of what is now Nagaland. British rule was established over the area by the 1890s and head hunting, then a traditional practice, was outlawed. Naglan is known in India as the land of festivals. The diversity of people and tribes creates a year-long atmosphere of celebrations. The head hunting, a male activity, would involve separating men from women before, during and after coming back from an expedition. The practice of head hunting was banned in 19th century and is no longer practiced among Naga people. Kohima hosts the World War II Cemetery in honor of those who lost their lives during World War II, which was fought between British Empire and Japanese troops. Near the memorial is the Kohima Cathedral on Aradura Hill, built with funds from the families and friends of deceased Japanese soldiers. The state of Nagaland, one of the major tribal regions in the country of India, attracts people for its quaint hills, green carpeted valleys, cascading waterfalls, dense forests and rich wildlife, all of which creates a pristine environment. This land of tribes attracts tourists for its natural beauty, pollution-free environment, lovely landscapes and incomparable cultural heritage. Hi, my name is Toto Tsusa. I am 26 years old and I live in Setu Zubza. Since childhood, I have keen interest in music, um, watching my Sunday school teachers and friends who can sing and play instrument. I am so fascinated by them. They are my inspiration. Uh, all I want was music. All I dream about was music. Uh, I just wanted to study music so much. but. So sad, my family could not afford my music education. So I'm left with no formal education except the gift and love in playing the piano. I tried to teach myself. Uh, I'm so grateful to my friends and teachers who taught me music basic. Um, I know I still have lots to learn and there are disadvantages for not having the formal music education. But since I've known a little bit, uh, I started the Prelude Music Studio uh, to teach children who want to learn music to give them the opportunity that I missed during my childhood. Prelude Music Studio has completed uh, its first year. We have had our first recital that is the Christmas recital. It, it was fun teaching them and um, we had a great time together as a family through music. With the studio, I also introduced a choir group called Voices from the Hills. Um, it started in October 2014 with a view to praise God through songs and talents and to inspire the youngsters uh, in the villages. We are a group of people who grew up together in a village. We love singing, uh, we sing in churches, uh, weddings, and of course, whenever and wherever we can sing. Brotherly. One day in your holy family home, let the Oh,
All glory to God. 